Uh, good afternoon. Thank you. So we are recording this event. Um, we'll say good afternoon to His Worship, Mayor Frank Scarpitti. We're going to say good afternoon to MPP, Billy Pang. Uh, we're going to say good afternoon to Acting Director of Economic Growth, Culture and Entrepreneurship, Christina Kakaflikas. Uh, and I see we have uh, Councillor Kalucci here, and we have Councillor Issa Lee, and we have Councillor uh, Reed McAlpine. And if I'm forgetting any other councillors, I think that's those are all the ones I see. Um, but I will be certain to recognize you if I uh, if I catch you later on. Uh, so again, welcome everyone. And uh, uh, just also, if you don't didn't know, October is also Small Business Month. So this is kind of a very timely event uh, to recognize all of our entrepreneurs in the city of Markham. So if you don't already know, my name is Tiffany Mack. I am the acting manager of the Markham Small Business Center. Uh, today with Mayor Frank Scarpitti and with the support of Linda Stott and Joshua Mack from the Markham Small Business Center, We'll be, uh, we'll be going through this wonderful Made in Markham event. So before we begin, just some quick housekeeping notes. Uh, like you saw earlier, this event is being recorded, so be mindful of that. Um, we're also gonna ask if, if you would like, you can turn off your camera, um, but we're gonna give plenty of opportunity later on for pictures, so where you can turn on your camera and do screenshots uh, and, and uh, maybe record certain parts of the presentation if you'd like. Um, and we're also going to ask everyone to stay on mute uh, so that we don't disrupt the speakers. Okay, so let's get started. So the MSBC is a co-venture of the City of Markham and the Ontario Ministry of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade. We're dedicated to providing residents and business people of the City of Markham who are interested in entrepreneurship with access to resources, counseling, uh, programming, as well as seminars throughout the year. Um, in partnership with the City of Markham and the Government of Ontario, we're proud to celebrate the outstanding achievements of Markham's entrepreneurs through their participation in three of our programs, Picture Biz Markham, Ontario Summer Company, and Starter Company Plus. Uh, so together with corporate sponsor Seneca College, the MSBC is administering our first ever Picture Biz Markham competition. The objective of this uh, competition is to encourage students to develop a business concept and then pitch it with their video or with a pitch deck. Today, we're also celebrating the achievements of students who successfully completed 2021 Ontario Summer Company. With the assistance of volunteer business mentors and advisors, Summer Company is a program uh, designed to help students aged 15 to 29 start up and run their program, sorry, run their summer business. Um, with, when they receive awards up to $3,000 um, and essentially work with the mentors to get their business off the ground. So we're very excited to, uh, to celebrate these students today. And then we have our Starter Company, sorry, starter company Plus program. Uh, it's for those over the age of 18 starting or expanding their own business. They'll receive up to $5,000 in grant funding as well as the training and mentoring uh, which will prove invaluable uh, during challenging times like we've just been going through. So today we're acknowledging the tremendous support from all levels of government for all of our entrepreneurs. Before we formally recognize the achievements of these successful participants, it is my pleasure to introduce you to our um, Acting Director of Economic Development, um, sorry, Economic Growth, Culture and Entrepreneurship, Christina Kakaflikas to say a few words. Um, Christina, go ahead. Thank you, Tiffany, and good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, we always look forward to this annual event to recognize our uh, graduates and all the mentors involved in this really important program. Um, and welcome to the 2021 Made in Markham recognition event hosted by Mayor Frank Scarpitti and the Markham Small Business Center, which is, of course, part of the Department of Economic Growth, Culture, and Entrepreneurship. Um, as Tiffany said, the MSBC is a co-venture between the City of Markham and the province's Ministry of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade. And MSBC provides students, residents, and business people of the City of Markham with access to business resources, counseling, entrepreneurship programs, as well as seminars throughout the year. And of course, during this challenging environment of a pandemic, MSBC business services were more essential than ever. The Made in Markham event is to recognize the successful completion of our entrepreneurship programs, 
uh, Pitch Your Biz, Markham, Ontario Summer Company, and Starter Company Plus. Today, we are recognizing over 53 entrepreneurs and mentors who truly embody the spirit of Markham innovation and ingenuity. Um, today with us also, in addition to the counselors who uh, Tiffany mentioned earlier today, uh, we also have uh, two co-chairs, uh, Chair of Economic Development, Alan Ho, uh, and the co-chair, Councillor Khalid Usman, who are also very big supporters of our businesses. And of course, the biggest supporter of all, Mayor Frank Scarpitti, uh, whom I have the pleasure to introduce to you today. And we appreciate all the support the mayor uh, provides to our whole economic development uh, department, um, including culture. And so again, my pleasure to introduce Mayor Scarpitti. Uh, thank you for your leadership during this difficult time and, and as always for the business community in Markham. Mayor Scarpitti. Well, thank you very much, Christina, and good afternoon to everybody. Uh, it's, I know it's Friday afternoon, but I'll tell you, I get excited about this event every year. Uh, it's a wonderful way to, to recognize the uh, achievements of, of young entrepreneurs within our, our community. So it's, it's great to be here with, uh, with everyone. And uh, I, although again, this year we, we couldn't be uh, in person, um, I really, uh, thankful that we are able to at least uh, do this virtually and, and not let the moment go unnoticed in our community of the tremendous success that, that young entrepreneurs are, are having uh, within uh, the city of Markham. And I do want to say thank you to all the members of council that are, that are here, uh, Councillor McAlpine, Councillor Colucci, Councillor Lee, uh, and I think uh, others may be joining us. I don't see all the screens, but I think, uh, thank uh, staff for recognizing all members of council and and to let you know when it, when it comes to fostering uh, business and supporting the business community our, our council is solidly behind those initiatives that not only support uh, entrepreneurs uh, particularly young entrepreneurs and particularly female entrepreneurs in our community because we, we really see this as a uh, an opportunity to, to grow our, our future economic uh, prosperity. Uh, so a big thank you, obviously, to Tiffany Mack and, and the team at the uh, Small uh, Enterprises Center, to Christina Kakaflikas, who uh, as acting director um, has been truly outstanding in terms of all the things that we've had to do. You know, this, this team works hard under normal circumstances, I'll say. They're always out there making sure that, that we're doing what we can to support our, our business community. And fair to say, over the last year and a half, uh, everyone's had to rise to the occasion and, and really uh, be innovative, uh, rely on the tremendous partnerships that we have, uh, we have uh, relied on uh, over the past several years. Uh, and I just want to say thank you, because I know it's not been easy. I know it's uh, required extra work. I know it's uh, required us to, to really think uh, more than we always do uh, of ways that we can support our, our community. So it's evident, again, uh, you know, it could have been very easy just to mail out these certificates and, uh, and that be the end of it. But no, uh, we wanted to celebrate. And, and today's another example of, of that commitment. But, but more importantly, aside from today's event, the, the commitment to, to the mentorship program, uh, this, is, this is extremely important. Uh, it, it's one thing and it's wonderful to see the enthusiasm and commitment of, of young people. Um, but you know, in, in any journey that we take on in life, no matter what we decide to do, it's always helpful to have uh, mentors that we can call on, rely on, ask questions of uh, to help us in our own uh, personal journey. It, uh, it, it's not always a, a formula where you get advice, apply the advice and it equals success uh, because at the end of the day, our own journey is our own journey. Uh, but it, it is uh, great to have that kind of wisdom that, uh, that we can rely on and particularly for young entrepreneurs who, who have the enthusiasm and the great ideas uh, to be uh, successful. And as has been indicated, uh, you know, we don't ever do things alone here in the city of Markham. 
Uh, it's always done not only in partnership within the business community, but with the other levels of, of government. So I'm always mindful and thankful of the support that we get from uh, the senior levels of government. And I uh, want to thank uh, MPP Billy Pang for, for coming here this afternoon. And, and as uh, others have said, this particular program is done with the support of the Ministry of Economic Development and Innovation. And uh, we're extremely um, uh, appreciative of the support that, that we get. Uh, I think all of us are uh, made time to be here this afternoon to, to really uh, give applause and recognition to the innovators, the exceptional innovators that we have within our, our community. Uh, innovators that have thought of an idea and have, and have come to the right place. And that is the, uh, the small business uh, uh, center to, to get uh, support, to obviously find out about the programs that we're gonna recognize uh, this afternoon. Uh, so that they uh, continue to, to be uh, successful and to develop the goals and dreams that you set out to do. And, and fair to say, uh, it's been a tough year and a half and the pandemic, uh, I wish wasn't the case, but the pandemic continues to present challenges uh, to us. But uh, not only here in Markham, but obviously across the province of Canada and, and around the, the globe. But our council, all members of council continue to be inspired by the way that, that businesses, particularly businesses that are starting out, have risen to the challenge, not only in their commitment to, to uh, starting a new business, but in many cases, actually starting businesses that have been of great help and support to addressing uh, the pandemic. That's really been inspirational, the, the talent that uh, we've seen come through. And uh, obviously their, their opportunity to, to leverage the support, to leverage the technology, to deliver their, their businesses uh, using uh, different plat platforms and, and, and really being innovative. I think uh, it's one thing to start a business. Uh, I think even a greater challenge to, to start it in times that we're facing and to be really put to the test, uh, the technology and the ability to be, uh, to be innovative. So absolutely, we continue to support our, our business community. Uh, we try to foster a culture of, of innovation, even within our own organization. I know sometimes people don't look at, to government to say, uh, what are they doing to, to move with the times? And I'm very proud of the many accomplishments we've had, again, particularly in the last year and a half, uh, how, introducing a virtual agent and using the IBM uh, technology to be able to, to address concerns and issues. And it's a program and actually technology, the virtual agent that we're expanding on our, our website. So that, that spirit of innovation is not just something we want to see in our business community, but we want to adopt as much as we can within government to provide uh, better services. So uh, I know we're going to get a chance to individually recognize you. I say thank you. And, and I always continue to be impressed with the young talent, the diversity of the young talent that we have within our, our community. And uh, I look forward to the part of the program where we're going to actually put the spotlight on all of you for the amazing success that you've had and, and the talent that you have. But before we get to that, I, I want to just introduce our, our MPP for Markham Unionville, Billy Pang, who is the Parliamentary Assistant to the Minister of Citizenship and, and Multiculturalism, and uh, a very appropriate uh, role to play uh, representing Canada's most diverse community. So we certainly uh, appreciate all that you, uh, you've done in, in that portfolio. And uh, I know, because uh, I've shared the stage with Billy on a few occasions, I know he's always uh, very proud of our business community and extremely proud of our young people. And so I'm gonna turn it over to you and thank you MPP Peg for joining us this afternoon. Thank you, Mayor Scarpetti for the introduction. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to thank the city of Markham and the Markham Small Business Center for inviting me to your Made in Markham virtual celebration. I'm delighted to attend today's event to recognize and congratulate all of you on a job well done. As the Premier has always said, 
Ontario is home to the best and the brightest mind in the world. As a resident of Markham and the MPP for Markham Unionville, I'm proud of all our constituents and small businesses. We are a unique city that is full of innovation and talent people. During this unprecedented time, we continue to witness constituents in Markham and across Ontario bring their creative ideas to life and chase after their business dreams. I'm happy that through this program, many individuals are able to assess the support, fundings, mentorship they need. I also want to take this opportunity to thank you. The COVID-19 pandemic has created great challenges, but I'm continuously amazed by how the people of Markham are supporting and tackling this pandemic together. Thank you for your collaboration and your role in protecting one another and our most vulnerable. Congratulations to all the awards recipients today. I look forward to this wonderful celebration. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you to Christina. Thank you to Mayor Scarpitti. Thank you to MPP Pang. Um, it's always, it, for me, it's always quite inspiring to hear from uh, the senior leadership in, in, in Markham. Um, so thank you all for attending and supporting our entrepreneurs. Um, so we're going to move on with our presentation now. Um, so you heard me mention earlier our, our three programs that we're, we're uh, speaking about today, Summer Company, Starter Company, and the inaugural and the first ever Pitch Your Biz Markham competition. Um, you may recall in previous years, this was called the Business Plan Competition. And that competition had been running for over 16 years. So we decided to uh, do some retooling and, and um, like Mayor Scarpitti said, you know, be innovative and, and, and move forward with our thinking. Um, and you know, to, to change this competition around. So it's now a Pitch Your Biz competition where students can pitch through a video or a pitch deck about their own innovative idea. Um, so I would like to uh, uh, thank our, our Seneca College for their, their support with this program. Uh, and in particular, Chris Dudley, the Director of Entrepreneurship at Seneca College. Now, um, I don't see Chris on online. Chris, are you here? Or did you sign in through someone else's name? Um, yeah, I don't see him here, but you know what? That's okay. We're going to thank him anyways, um, and we will uh, move forward to the next slide, which is um, to recognize our participating teachers. Um, now, I know some of the teachers are not here because they are, in fact, teaching <laughs> and they're, they're in school, but we are still going to recognize them because we always like to, uh, we appreciate the way our teachers um, inspire the entrepreneurial spirit in the students. And so we're recognizing today uh, Michael Whalen and Anne McLeod Walker. Michael is from Bill Carruthers Secondary School and Anne is from Burr Oak Secondary School. So thank you very much for your support. Uh, now we're going to move on to the next slide to uh, officially recognize our Picture Biz Markham winners. Um, so we're going to go to our first category, which was our grades 9 and 10 students. Um, grade 9 and 10 students, our prize, first prize winner was Samantha Mack for her company Olive One. Uh, then we have grades 11 and 12 category, and the winner was Natalia Burkich. Uh, and her team at Inspire Media. Then we have our Seneca First Prize. Uh, Seneca First Prize was awarded to Alicia Mock for her company called Paired. And lastly, uh, our video pitch winner was Samantha Mack for Olive One. So if I announce your name, you're welcome to turn on your camera and um, take this opportunity to take a quick screenshot uh, or photo. Uh, and I'll let, um, I'll ask everyone to, um, if I see you, let's see. I see. I see Natalia. Um, hi. hi, everyone. Hi. Who are you? You can go ahead if you want and take a picture. Or I'd, that would, I'm. That would be lovely. Um, yeah. It's all right. <laughs> I just like to take a second to kind of thank my team. I know we have Victoria's on right now, Dalen's on, Noah and Malaya. So if they could also turn their cameras hi. on, that would be lovely. <laughs> Um, yeah, so really what we're doing, it's it's a team initiative and honestly, nothing that we've done so far, it's all um, because of our team and 
I think that leadership, it, it means to really be there to support your team, support their endeavors, support their ideas, support what they're doing. So that's kind of the culture that we have at Inspire Media. So just taking the time to appreciate them as well is really important to me. So do you guys want to take a screenshot? There we go. Um, thank you very much for this event. We really appreciate it. And we look forward to kind of growing our business here in Markham. But thank you very much. So I'm just going to take a photo too. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Good job, thank team, and um, thank you very much to everyone who joined this call today. Thanks, Natalia. Thank you, the Inspire Media team. I see Samantha there, too. Thanks so much, Samantha, for showing up. You can take your photo, too, if you'd like. Uh, take a screenshot. Um, we can all just freeze for one second. <laughs> and is there anyone else from, um, I don't know if I see Alicia. I don't know if Alicia is here. No, I don't see her. That's okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to also let everyone know that at the end of the event, we'll leave some more time there for uh, anyone who's missed an, a photo opportunity. So um, thank you so much, uh, Samantha and Natalia and your team. Okay, so we're going to get back to our slideshow presentation. Um, the next category is our Summer and Starter Company Plus Mentors. Um, as part of both of, of these programs, um, all the participants are mentored by members of the business community. These mentors guide the business owners to the success uh, of their business, to help face challenges, to help navigate issues. And as we all know, we've been discussing the past uh, COVID difficulty the past year and a half. So there were a lot of challenges that needed to be discussed, but this wonderful group of mentors um, help to not only provide advice, but to actually, you know, support and, and cheer on our, our business owners. So, um, and I do have to also mention that these wonderful people are all volunteering their time. So we do uh, appreciate them and, and their generosity. So um, Mayor Scarpitti, I'm going to ask you to uh, read out the names if you, if you would like. And, um, and at the end, of course, we can do uh, photos as well. Sure, I, I have them in. Uh, slightly, no, no, I think it's the same order, so we should be okay. I thought uh, for a second I had them in a slightly different order, but uh, I wanted to say thank you to these mentors. Uh, again, um, as you can see, different backgrounds, uh, and, and to let you know that these individuals, uh, like all of us, have had uh, uh, more, more things to do over the last year and a half. So I just want to say thank you for, for staying committed to this program and being able to, to guide our, our young entrepreneurs. So uh, with that, we, we have Stefan Orlo from BizMetrics. Thank you, Stefan, for your, your support. Judy Zhang from YSpace, uh, great collaboration between uh, YSpace of York University and, and the city of Markham. And again, great to have your involvement in this uh, program. Igor uh, Gilbanov, uh, Igor, thank you very much. Certainly, uh, uh, the fitness industry has had its challenges. The fact that you gave time to, to this uh, program, I think, speaks volumes about the, how, how lucky we are to have people like you uh, helping out, uh, even in the midst of all the, the challenges that uh, we've had to face. Uh, Martin uh, Girizak, I hope I pronounced that uh, correctly, Martin from Genesis uh, Resiliency. Uh, Jeff Yolick uh, from Community, a community volunteer. So thank you, Jeff. Uh, great to have, again, volunteers in our community that, that are making the difference. And, and this, is a, this is a real commitment when you do this one because uh, you're helping out uh, the young entrepreneurs and sort of all the, the scheduled times, but also the opportunity uh, from, from uh, others uh, to, to contact you and, and maybe uh, get some additional help when they need it. And to Zachary Coulter from uh, Method CRM. Thank you, Zachary. So let's give a big hand to our mentors for the outstanding commitment they gave to this program over the past uh, several months. It's, it's really appreciated. And I know, I know that, uh, I mean, just to hear Natalie, uh, speak there. You see the the appreciation and, and gratitude, and I'm sure many of our our young entrepreneurs have expressed their appreciation directly to all of you. So that's your reward. Just kind of seeing the the success and the appreciation. Um, and and on behalf of council and our community, I say thank you to all of you for your commitment. Thank you, Mayor Scarpitti. Um, so all of our mentors, if you are here 
I see a handful of you here. So please, um, if you'd like to take a photo, you're welcome to do that now. Um, you can take a quick, quick screenshot. I see Martin here. Um, who else is here? Let me see. I see, uh, I think Judy was here as well. I saw her earlier here, but uh, Tiffany, go ahead and take I a photo. I see Chris Dudley has joined us as well. I do see him well. here too. So yeah, thank you, Chris. Chris. How are thank you, you, Chris? <laughs> Did you, uh, you know what, Chris, if you'd like, uh, you, you can give us, uh, I, I'll give you a few moments to say your, um, to say your, your, your remarks, if you'd like, or I can move on to a different category first, um, up to you, you can. Well, Tiffany, I, I'd appreciate having a, a couple of moments. Um, no and I apologize for coming in a, a little late. I had a, another meeting that ran long. Um, good morning, everyone. My, my name is Chris Dudley and I'm the Director of Entrepreneurship at, at Seneca. Uh, Seneca is one of Canada's largest post-secondary institutions with over 28,000 full-time students, of which 8,000 uh, graduate every year with degrees, diplomas, graduate certificates from over 500 different programs. And part of my responsibilities at Seneca is overseeing Helix, Seneca's on-campus entrepreneurship and innovation incubator. And Helix is dedicated to developing the innovation mindset in our students, and community members. This will prepare them to be, become entrepreneurs or innovating from within companies, or if they wanna be entrepreneurs, Helix will support them in the development of their uh, venture ideas from ideation right straight through to launch and initial scaling. Since Helix launched in 2014, we have engaged over 26,000 individuals in innovation events and supported the development of over 560 new student and community-led ventures. Now, the city of Markham is a very strong champion of innovation and entrepreneurship across the whole ecosystem. And Seneca Helix has had the good fortune to partner with the city on many entrepreneurial initiatives over the years. And I'm delighted to say that this is the 12th year of Seneca supporting Markham Small Business Center and the Made in Markham event. The Made in Markham event is, is very, very special to me. Through it, I get to glimpse into what tomorrow's innovation champions will look like. And over the years, I've had the pleasure of being on the panel that have reviewed many submissions. And I must say that I was very impressed by the vision, care, and thoroughness of this year's submissions. To those that have an innovation mindset and took the risk to submit your ideas to the Made in Markham event, I have seen what you can do and the passion you have towards change. I want to encourage you to continue to take risks and innovate. Find a mentor, work with an incubator like Helix and develop. Don't be afraid to fail. There's learning and growth in failure. Get up, learn and continue to push forward. We cannot keep doing things the same way we always have. We need you. Canada needs you. We need you to innovate and create a new tomorrow. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of, of this. And as I said earlier, I am, I am very honored to be working with the city on a number of different innovation events, but in particular, this Made in Markham is very, very special to me. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, Chris, uh, for your thoughtful words there. Uh, it's always, uh, we, we, we appreciate your support and um, your guidance as always. Um, Chris was uh, very helpful with our, our re, I guess, reinvigoration of our business plan competition to make it our pitch your biz competition. So thank you, Chris, for all of your help. Um, so I think we're going to move forward with our slide presentation. Um, we're going to, oh, excellent. Sorry, sorry, Tiffany, did we get that last group to get their group shot? I just want oh, to make sorry. sure. Oh, sorry. Yes, you're we right. Haven't missed, um, we haven't missed that. Well, I know that uh, uh, our mentors, if you're still here, if you'd like to take a photo, this is a perfect opportunity to do so. Uh, Martin, if you, if uh, I think, I, I don't see Judy. I thought she was here. Um, well, any other mentors, you're welcome to take photos as well. Go ahead. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Um, so we will move forward with our presentation. So Linda, if we can just get back to our slides. Thank you so much. Wonderful. So um, our next category is our starter company plus program. 
um, you're going to see a lot of names uh, and a lot of participants in this program. Actually, um, it was our record year of participants. Um, partially because it was a challenging year and, and a lot of business owners uh, needed some assistance, but also because uh, we had, we, we received, um, we received funding from York Region to, um, to bolster this program. So this initial funding from the province to run the program, York Region stepped in to give us some extra funding as well. So we were able to touch, reach out and touch a lot of business owners with, uh, with this extra funding. So we we're very grateful for it. Um, you'll recognize a lot of, I hope you'll recognize a lot of local business business names here. Um, if you don't, then certainly Google them and, and find out where they are and go and go ahead and, and you know, be one of their uh, one of their clients or customers because these are all wonderful businesses. Um, so we are going to, um, I'm going to ask Mayor Scarpetti again to do the honors of announcing all of our Starter Company Plus uh, participants. Great, thanks very much. Tiffany, and again, uh, congratulations to, uh, to everyone who, who was a part of this. Uh, so we have uh, Emil uh, Nakala, Two Care Pharmacy, Gregory Cipetta, Primitive Power Training, Gregory Hines, Doa Academy, Kevin Lin, U Plus English Inc., Loretta Lamb, Focus Communications, Vera Marchese, Hair Reflection, Alan Chan, Acme Physi Physique, Alan Locke, Heritage Music Academy, Ali Gadami, Bellafornia, Anna Ewan, Focus Tutoring, Charles Zhao, CP Trip Service, Chen Guan Sun, Mr. Fresh, Jason Goodis, Next Door Restaurant, Jennifer Lee, OHM Spa, Joyce Pente, 11 Joseph Fashion, Kent Sorensen, Crafty Pots, Kevin Chang, Muhan Taekwondo, Ling Ling Chen, Use ABC Education, Paul Cicini, the Duchess of Markham, Sherry Ann Woolley, Mona Home Cleaning, Terry Sim, Target Golf, Tracy Seal, Korea House, Vlad Sturbarek, Love Gelato, Yen Ku, Verve Hair Design, Daniel Korniakia, Dan Core Landscape, Fei Lu, Winged Canvas, Grace Pang, Grace Mountain Nutrition House, Jackie Yoon, Mew Nails, Kai Yi Lee, K Ka Beauty Health Club, Payal Singh, Maple Wiz, and Wilson Locke Academia Concept. So again, thank you very much to all of the participants. An impressive group, very impressive group. Thank you to all of you. Thank you, Mayor Scarpitti. And yes, certainly it is an impressive group. So I, I see a number of years, a number of our Starter Company Plus participants here. So uh, please take a moment to take a photo if you like. Um, I see Faye here. I see Kevin. Um, oh, Faye, your studio looks lovely. I like all those pictures. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, and Loretta is here as well. So go ahead and take photos if you'd like. Wonderful. And again, we'll have some time at the end too, if anyone missed a photo. Okay, so moving on, um, we are going to move on to our summer company program. Um, now this, this summer, we were actually very fortunate to have a, uh, well, I'm not gonna call him a student, but he was, he was a student when he was working with us in the office uh, during the summer, uh, Joshua. So Joshua Mack is here and he uh, had some wonderful design skills. Um, and so he, he took it upon himself to create a, a video of our summer company participants. And so we we're very, um, very impressed by uh, the video and we wanted to share it all with you here today. Um, so go ahead. Oh, here we go. Do we have the sound on, Linda? It might just be on mute. Sorry, you can't hear that sound? 
Yeah, no, I can't hear the sound. Mm -hmm. Just, uh... There we go. Wonderful. Thank you. And that was created in house by our own Joshua Max. So thank you so much, Josh. Uh, we really uh, saw your energy throughout that video. It was really nice. Um, we're, uh, we're actually also going to take a moment before we get to the students, we're going to recognize the uh, program administrators behind Summer Company this summer. Uh, and I know I see a, hand, a, a few of them here. So we're going to recognize our Y-Space um, our, our uh, friends. So we have David Kwok, the Associate Director of Entrepreneurship at York University. We have Nafis Ahmed, the entrepre Entrepreneurship Manager at Y-Space, and Serena Tang, the Y-Space Coordinator. Um, these lovely people helped uh, with the program administration, the training and the mentoring to make sure that our 10 summer company students uh, received all their proper training and were on their way to starting and creating their business. So thank you, David. Thank you, Nathis. Thank you, Serena. Uh, I see you here. Do I, oh, David, if, you, if you'd like, you can, um, you can take a photo. Um, we can give you a moment there. There we go. Hi. Um, I don't know if Nafis uh, and Serena are online too, but that's okay. Awesome. Okay, thank you, David. Um, so you saw in the video, it was a nice little sneak peek at these um, amazing students. Um, every year I've had the uh, uh, wonderful opportunity to wonderful, wonderful opportunity to work with the young people in Markham. And um, every year I get a little bit, uh, what's the word? I get a little bit more inspired every year because <laughs> I see the um, the way, you know, from when I started working with the students 11 years ago, the types of businesses that were, um, that these students were working on till now when these students have, have had to uh, not only uh, handle school in, in a virtual manner, but they've actually had to also make uh, make their business work in a virtual manner. So all of our students have had to uh, start with zero 
virtual presence and to work throughout the summer to make it so that they were actually, um, you know, able to uh, have social media campaigns and, and, and were very active on their own social media accounts. Um, so these students really, I, I'm incredibly impressed with their ability to pivot and their ability to um, kind of move beyond traditional means of business. So uh, we're going to, uh, I'm going to ask Mayor Scarpitti to recognize these uh, wonderful students here. Um, go ahead and, uh, and call their names. Thank you. Thanks, Tiffany. Great video to kind of give us some insight to, uh, to the businesses and to uh, see the individuals involved. And again, um, I have to remark to, to really see the number of, uh, of young women who are involved in this program. It's really encouraging to, to see. And uh, I have to say, uh, just <laughs> quickly looking at this, and uh, all of you have started businesses, but you know something about marketing too. Uh, great names that on the uh, on the business side because you know it sort of uh, captures a bit of what you do but also captures uh, some interest to find out more about what the, the businesses are so congratulations on not only starting but thinking about the the marketing side as well so we have Arij Fatima threaded x apparel uh, or buy apparel so uh, thanks and congratulations uh, Arij again I hope I'm pronouncing that uh, correctly Ashley Mann, Trophy Wives, Ashlyn Long, Shoops and Letters, DeSola Dina, Daisy D Publicity, Daya Dahandaha, uh, Daya Sonic Sound Studio, uh, Imran Ifran, Imran's Lawn Care and Gardening Services, Kayera Scott, Mason Kaya, or sorry, Mason Kai, Ryan Chan, Past Recollection, Suthri Balakumar, Sweet Shack, and Winnie Chen, Artist Winnie. And congratulations to all of you. Wonderful to see the array of businesses, but really great to see your enthusiasm in that, uh, in that video. Thank you. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Thank you, Mayor Scarpetti. And I see a number of our, of our summer company students here. I see Winnie, I see uh, DeSola, uh, Ashlyn's here, uh, amazing Dia's here. Hi guys, so nice to see you all. Um, you can take a moment to take a photo now if you'd like, um, or at the end of the presentation, we can take a photo too. Awesome, thank you. Um, one last thing I wanted to say about these wonderful students is that, um, you can visit their, uh, their pro, I guess, profile or website on the Markham Small Business Center uh, website. You can see all the students listed there and all the names of their businesses. And I know that a lot of them are still active. That was actually one of the, um, I guess, one of the, uh, the beauties of uh, operating virtually is that they were still able to operate their businesses, even though they're managing school, they're managing volunteering, they're managing, you know, all these other things, but their, their businesses are still in operation. So that's quite exciting. So go ahead and visit our MSBC website and uh, take a look at the students' profiles. Uh, I just wanted to say something quickly, Tiffany, yeah, if that's okay. Absolutely. Sure. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say, um, so I wanted to do the program a few years ago, um, but I wasn't ready, but then Tiffany encouraged me to come back. Um, and so I just wanted to say that it's really appreciated. It's been like on my bucket list since like grade seven. And since I'm in university now, I'm like, I figured might as well, you know, now or never. So I just want to say thanks again, Tiffany oh, and the Markham Small you. Business Center. Thank you, Desola. So I am Desola has a, a PR company. So she's uh, quite active with her public relations. And, and that it was actually that's one of the, um, one, the you're the first PR company that's come through our doors with summer company. So it's quite interesting to see how your business uh, your business evolved. <laughs> oh, thank you, Winnie. I see your comment in there. You said you put it off for a year. Yeah. That, um, so a lot of our students, you know, sometimes they come to us um, wanting to do it, but they're they're not quite there yet. Their idea might not be there yet. So we often say, you know what, you know, take some time, figure it out, and and come back to us. And so it's nice to see that a lot of these people, uh, a lot of these wonderful students have. So thank you, thank you all of you. Okay, so let's move on to our next slide here. Um, well, the next thing I wanted to do actually was um, we <laughs> in past years when we were able to do this event in person, one of the things all of our participants wanted to do and, and really appreciated was 
just to get some face time with, you know, with the mayor, with our counselors, with our MPPs. So unfortunately, because we're doing everything virtually, you know, we don't get a chance to shake hands and, and you know, uh, have some chit chat. But what we wanted to do was um, try to introduce, uh, you know, still a little bit of a, a little bit of a, um, I guess, uh, a natural element to this presentation where we, we ask a, a polling question. So we're gonna give everyone here a chance to see the polling question. Uh, and you're going to decide what you want to hear the mayor answer. So he's going to ask, he's going to answer one of the questions that you select. Um, he's going to be as truthful and honest as he wants to be to make it a candid conversation. So uh, I'm going to ask Linda if you can put up the polling question. Uh, now, just to be clear, the members of council are disqualified from voting on this, okay? <laughs> I just want to make sure that we've dis <laughs> disengaged their voting buttons. We just want to hear from the young entrepreneurs, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we, the two questions are, what advice do you have for entrepreneurs during this challenging time? And the second question is, if you could operate a business, what type of business would you operate? So let's give everyone a, a few moments to decide what they'd like to hear. Okay, I think we got, Linda, do you think we got everyone's there, everyone's answer? Oh, we've got still people answering. We're just okay. over 50% of participants. <laughs> okay. So there's not that many counselors, keep voting. <laughs> Well, I think uh, I think the popular question I see is um, the uh, the second question. So, Mayor Scarpitti, if you could operate a business, what type of business would you operate, and why? Well, that's a that's a great question, and um, uh, part of this uh, kind of relates to my my own experience. There's probably a couple of of different areas I I want to consider. Um, uh, one of them is uh, the food industry. Um, uh, actually, a, a high school uh, friend of mine and I uh, actually had a part-time catering business, and uh, we we went the whole nine yards. I was lucky enough. I didn't have formal programs like this, but I have to say I was lucky enough to have uh, a couple of mentors in uh, in the community. And uh, they helped guide us, uh, put together uh, some thought about how we organize the business, uh, how we market the business. We had a, an outstanding artist uh, in the community. He was, well, world renowned and uh, he designed our business cards. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you the name of it because I may wanna go back to it. So I, I gotta make sure I still have the rights to the name, but uh, we started off you know, catering people's private functions in their homes, private dinners. And it was a wonder, you know, as a young person, it was just a wonderful, aside from the business part, it was just wonderful to go into these homes and uh, develop some of the network of the people that were at these dinner parties and to just, you know, whether it was a, uh, sometimes the conversation that would naturally happen around food or sometimes, uh, you know, you'd be hearing stories of, of people's uh, personal journey, some of which was their their business part. So it gave uh, an opportunity for us to to you know start a business and and be active in it. But it also broadened. It gave us a wonderful opportunity to broaden our perspective because of the people that we were meeting. And um, it kind of quickly transitioned because of that network that we developed from the private dinner parties. Uh, to actually catering uh, corporate functions. So we were invited to, to uh, uh, provide uh, services for, for company parties. And, and so, you know, um, I, we, we kind of abandoned it at one point because we kind of went different ways in terms of what we wanted to do and pursue. Uh, I quite often think if uh, maybe we shouldn't have, because right now, you know, we might be some of the, we would have been that major corporation that would have been hiring people and expanding food services. And, and the reason I, I say it, I think uh, it's it's something that still interests me um, because of the, the wonderful diversity we have in this community. Uh, you can really uh, provide an array of, of uh, a cuisine and an array of different functions and, and certainly that's, that's something that would interest me. I guess that's one side. And then on the other side, um, given my background in the media, uh, being able to, to start a business uh, that would really maybe speak to developing an online 
uh, uh, media company that uh, that again um, sort of uh, would would explore um, different types of of content uh, that would be of interest to me and uh, um, obviously you know with with everything that that not only our world but the the strength here in Markham of our of our uh, high tech companies and the digital platforms that have been developed right within our own community. That's probably something that would excite me and, and uh, wanna be involved in. So I will be reaching out to some of the mentors uh, that we recognized uh, earlier to get their advice and see which, uh, which one I might uh, have better success at. But certainly some of it relates to a business, uh, part-time business that I had. And then obviously uh, the other one um, I would think about because I think I have some strength and uh, and experience there that uh, and uh, I think the right environment again in Markham to develop that type of a, a business and company uh, within our, our community. So watch out, you may see me at a uh, at a function in the future, not wearing the chain of office, but uh, an apron and a chef's hat or something like that. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor Scarfitti. Well, may I ask, just as a you know, as a as part B to that question, what was your favorite you know dish to make, and 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 you know what was the most well received from uh, from your clients? Well, I'd like to think it was all well received, but <laughs> uh, you know what? Um, you know, there was different different. Uh, obviously, because of my Italian background, there were dishes that uh, had that Italian flair on it. Uh, but I'm not sure some of these dishes are, are not ones that, you know, people would recognize today, but uh, everything from a, a favorite of mine, because I just enjoy, you know, anything that was left over, maybe sampling some of the leftovers, but, uh, you know, uh, uh, veal, uh, veal uh, cordon bleu was, a, was a, a favorite of mine and, you know, took some time to prepare. Crown roast of pork. Uh, because it wasn't just throwing a piece of meat in the oven. You had to kind of prepare uh, the, the, the filling inside. But, I, you know, I'm the wrong person to ask what type of food do I like or which one was a favorite because I'd probably be here all afternoon. But it was always, it was always great, uh, you know, and, and again, thinking about how to organize things. Uh, anyone who's ever even just had to prepare for a dinner party in your own house you know, all the variables and the dynamics and all the preparation that goes into that. So every, every occasion was, uh, was provided its own challenges. And obviously, it's not like a restaurant where you have, you know, you know, the parameters, you know, the capacity. Uh, every time you walked into someone's home, you had to deal with the variable of what was available in the space that you had to work in. So, uh, but again, a great experience and uh, enjoyed doing it. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for that, uh, you know, interesting tidbit there. Um, so I hope that uh, I hope that 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 gives a lot of our young entrepreneurs here, um, I guess, some insight to, you know, possible uh, career opportunities and, you know, how things can things can change. And, um, you know, we just kind of uh, as long as we we um, are enjoying what we're doing and passionate about what we're doing, then uh, then that's going to make you uh, make you successful. And I, I, I see that with a lot of our students here that they started off with a hobby, something that they did, you know, on the side and, and, and uh, that they enjoyed. And then and they turned that into a business and that was just so wonderful to see. Um, now, traditionally, we have our, uh, our co-chair of economic development, uh, Ward 2 Councillor Alan Ho, to provide closing remarks. Um, unfortunately, I just received a message and he is uh, held up in another meeting, uh, so he cannot join us today. Uh, I know that if he were here, though, he would like to share uh, a few you know, words of advice with his entrepreneurs. And he generally tells his story of um, you know, how he pivoted from his career as an entrepreneur um, you know, to what he's doing now. And, and how that entrepreneurial spirit and a lot of the skills he learned as an entrepreneur uh, helped him, you know, along the way with um, with his career uh, his career uh, journey. So, um, if uh, unfortunately Alan Ho can't be here with us today, um, then perhaps I might even just ask uh, Mayor Scarpitti if you wanted to just address that first question that we had about giving advice to um, our, our entrepreneurs. Did you have any last minute, last little bits of advice you wanted to provide for our, our uh, entrepreneurs here? Well, um, I would just say that some other speakers have already kind of touched on this. Uh, I think fair to say. Um, 
and this applies to business, but but it also applies to uh, sort of uh, your journey in life. Um, I, I would I would say it's important if you can. It's not you know um, an absolute. If you don't do it, you won't be successful because we've certainly seen people be successful without this. But I really want to kind of extend what's available here through this program and kind of highlight it a bit more that if you can, on an ongoing basis, uh, have a, a mentor or an advisor, someone that you can go to, um, it, it's it's important. Uh, I mean, I, I want to stress uh Stay focused on your education, uh, learning uh, that particular discipline and, and skill set. That, that's important. But I have to say, and I think others will tell you this, uh, sometimes uh, the, the opportunity uh, that you get by, by having a network, by having more than one mentor and advisor, because sometimes, again, your mentor may have a particular background or a particular expertise. Uh, and, and someone else might be able to give you advice on, on other aspects of, of either your business or, or your career. Uh, but fair to say that, that uh, people have, have uh, their lives have been turned around by some of the uh, insight that advisors or mentors have been able to provide. So wherever you can do that, and, and again, it's not that you always have to take the advice of your mentor, but it's a sounding board. And you pick the pieces that you think best uh, best can serve, you know, your goals and objectives. So it's not like, oh my goodness, I, I have to listen to my mentor because you know they've been well, they have, and they 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 they've been through some of uh, similar aspects of your journey, but they haven't gone through your journey, and and you know your your creativity, what you bring to your business. But I, I would just say in business and in life, um, uh, I, I think many would say that if they've been successful at anything, it's because they've also had the luxury and, and certainly you have through this program, but I would say continue it beyond this program to rely on, on mentors and advisors. Uh, uh, it's not that what they say is, is uh, an automatic uh, for what you may want to do. But it's it's a bench strength, I think, for successful people that they've had them, and and I would just advise you to do it beyond just the program here. That's wonderful. Um, thank you, Mayor Scarpitti. So th that's wonderful word of advice, um, and I encourage all of our, our program participants to certainly keep in touch with the MSBC. Um, let us know how you're doing. Like I, I always keep um, I keep my eyes open when I see um, pieces of news about you or you know uh, stuff that's happening on social media. I'll pick up on it. But if I don't see that, you know, please reach out to us and let us know. Um, are you doing anything new? Is there a new product coming out? Are you opening a new location? All that exciting stuff we always love to see. So uh, please do keep in touch and, and um, we, uh, we're happy to uh, offer any assistance we can with our resources and programming here. Um, okay, so I think that wraps up our Made in Markham 2021 virtual event. Um, I uh, thank everyone for being here today. I know that everyone has a very busy schedule, so I do appreciate all of our um, all of our councillors, uh, MPP Billy Pang, Mayor Scarpitti, uh, Christina, um, everyone for joining us today here. And of course, uh, MSBC uh, staff Joshua and Linda, you guys did a wonderful job with um, organizing our event today. So I'm going to uh, offer everyone here a, a few moments of um, uh, a photo opportunity. So if you want, if you missed a picture or if you want to take a group shot, uh, we can go ahead and do that now. Um, actually, Josh, I'll ask you to take a group shot if you can. Um, you can put yourself on camera too, and we'll, we'll do a group shot together with everyone here. Awesome, there, Josh and Linda. Um, if you want to turn on your cameras, uh, go ahead and we'll take a nice group photo here for, um, for our website. Awesome. Nice to see all your faces. Wonderful. Okay, so Josh, do you mind taking a photo for us? Okay. Good. I'll take, yeah, let me take one more. Yeah, okay.
Okay, that should be good. Awesome, thank you. And we'll share that with everyone. Um, and if anyone here wants to take um, another photo, they're, they're welcome. you're welcome to do so. We'll stay behind for a few extra minutes here. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for making our week. You know, this is a great way to finish off a, a, a work week with uh, so much uh, success and, and to see the enthusiasm and to really uh, see the, the uh, appreciation for the mentors who've been a, a part of your journey so far. So again, great way to finish off the weekend and enjoy your weekend. I see. Thank uh, you to Tiffany. There are a lot of emails, but you helped us a lot. Thank you so much, Tiffany. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> I wanted to say that too. Thank you, Tiffany, and to Win as well. But there's so much that goes into, you know, getting leadership support, getting us exposure. And, and I just wanted to share that we got the grant for uh, GPS Pet Tracker Yopets, and now we are uh, one of Canada's, we were the first Canadian to launch it. And we are now leading the Canadian Canadian market in six months of launch. Wonderful. Congratulations. That's, a, that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. And it's all because of the support that we got from our leadership, our city leadership, uh, and, and your team, Tiffany. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, that's that's really great news to hear. And thank you for updating us on that. Um, we're always happy to hear the positive news that comes out of um, all of our entrepreneurs here. So congratulations. That's really wonderful news. Thank you. Make sure we're sharing that news and, and others news in our economic development newsletter as well. Yeah. So mm -hmm. If you have stories like that, keep them coming. Love to hear from you. <laughs> Absolutely. Counseling. That's right. And um, I see a question here in the chat about the video. Yes. So uh, we do have a recording of our video today. We'll share that on uh, on our website and um, it is a link to to our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So does anyone else have any, uh, does anyone else want to take a picture with the, with our mayor and, and our counselors here? Um, you're welcome to do so. Uh, Tiffany, I would also like to thank you as well. Thank you very much for this opportunity and your help for helping me start my business and help to all the mentors who helped it grow throughout the summer. Oh, thank you, Diaz. Are you still teaching piano throughout the year? Yes, you, yes. I will be teaching. That's great to hear. That's what I love to hear is that the, the entrepreneurial uh, side still continues on, even though um, other other uh, commitments take place. That's wonderful. Good job. OK, so I think uh, we're OK to wrap up now. Um, thank you again to everyone here. We will be sharing the videos and, and photos when we get them. Uh, and of course, keep the good news coming. If there's anything that you want us to know about, please let us know. Um, we're always excited to cheer for uh, our Markham entrepreneurs. Thank you again, and have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Thank you. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bye.